A member of the UNSC tried killing Master Chief and came very close to succeeding. And also Cortana got hilarious revenge involving his wife. This is classic stuff, so let's go ahead and get into it. This video is supported by Audible. Snag yourself a free Halo audiobook right down in the description below. By the way, guys, I'm giving away three copies of Halo the Master Chief Collection by December 2nd. All you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment down below. Winners will be randomly picked, so good luck. Okay, so the man that had attempted to kill John, the Master Chief was named James Ackerson, and to put it simply, he's a psychopath. A cold, ruthless, but ambitious personality. Oh, and he's pretty petty too. Plus, he commits treason, and I'm gonna tell you how. So, he was a colonel in the UNSC Armed Forces and was assigned to Oni during the Human Covenant War, and was very successful, having survived three battles with the Covenant. It doesn't sound like much, but remember, the Covenant killed like 60% of humanity, and, you know, the odds of winning against the Covenant were pretty slim, so that is pretty impressive. So, early in the war, he volunteered for a dozen black operations, and eventually he became the head of the Spartan 3 program, obviously with the intent to turn vengeful orphans into cheaper Spartans and suicide units for risky missions. So if you wondered who came up with that idea, it would be this guy. Not long after Dr. Halsey's Spartan 2 program went live, her being his rival, he would begin his own super soldier program, named the Spartan 3 program. Wow, that's as clever as naming your channel like Halo followers. He studied DNA profiles of the candidates and, and covertly observed the Flash clones and how they were used to replace the Spartan 2 children and even retrieve dead ones. He even proposed a plan in 2531 and had the Spartan 3 program go live and approve. And Ackerson had basically turned from a commander of sort to a politician, more or less, and would eventually get a seat in the UNSC Security Council and Special Weapons Development Program. Now, during the fall of Reach on the planet Reach on August 29th, 2531, 52, just about a day before Noble Six and, well, all of Noble Team is dead, Master Chief is getting an upgrade on his neural interface on a facility nicknamed Painland. Fun fact, it was actually this same day, but just later, maybe just hours later, that Noble Team was ordered to destroy Sword Base. Now, this is when they make their way inside and encounter Halsey, and they're given a fragment of Cortana to bring to the Pillar of Autumn, and the Doctors then escort it back to Castle Base. So, just if you were curious. Anyway, Halsey monologues about how over the years they've made hundreds of modifications to the Spartans' feedback, but this suit's most important addition is the shield technology used by the Jackals, and how humanity has has now learned how to create a, I guess, mobile shield more efficiently than the Covenant's own shields. And the other important tech is Cortana. This is when Master Chief and Cortana meet for the first time, and Master Chief is then told by Halsey once she leaves, a test will begin, and his job is to basically survive and ring the bell at the end. This is basically to test his neural interface additions and Cortana, and I guess the suit additions. Now here's how James Agerson, during the fall of Reach, when humanity was literally falling apart due to genocide by this covenant race killing everything, had such a small and petty ego that he actually tried to kill Master Chief on purpose and came very close to doing so. So without much of a warning after Halsey leaves, a squad of ODST soldiers jump into the building, Master Chief punches, shoots, and even gets one in the knees, super ouch. Although these are severe injuries, he doesn't actually kill them, he just neutralizes them. Either way though, seems like kind of a waste that a bunch of ODSTs are falling due to Master Chief for a test, because Reach is being blasted to hell right now, most of the planet has been pretty much <laughs> annihilated, but I digress. Mows over three more ODSTs, Master Chief advances amongst a landmine field of Lotus anti-tank mines. These would easily blow him apart, so excessive to say the least, and then even activates a heavy automated 30 millimeter chain guns, kind of like Warthog turrets, and that's where Chief would slide behind one and use it against the other. And then, of course, to finish it off, he starts getting pursued by a Skyhawk fighter. Now, this is where Halsey gets, like, upset. Like, alright, this is a little bit too much. We're going to kill the Master Chief, but Ackerson refuses to stop it. This field test was, of course, directed by him and was obviously a gross misallocation of resources. And it kind of makes him a traitor because he's trying to kill one of humanity's best soldiers during a very crucial time when humanity might go extinct in just months. But especially since Reach, the entire planet's being burned at the moment. But Ackerson was 
trying to basically disgrace all Spartan 2s and Dr. Halsey, or if even possible, kill the legendary Master Chief because basically he hated Dr. Halsey and also he wanted the funding. But as Chief is sprinting away from the Skyhawk fighter, Cortana alerted him of missile lock. So Chief stood his ground and as advised by Cortana, told him to deflect and at just the right moment, Master Chief actually manages to deflect a very deadly missile that would have certainly blown him and his armor to pieces, blast the rocket down to Flex it down into the ground, still knocks him over, but Chief makes it to the bell in time before the Skyhawk fighter makes another round. But the thing I really love about today's video is how Cortana gets revenge on this douchebag. So, I mean, oh man, but uh, Ackerson was kind of pissed from this and said he got lucky. Halsey responded, Spartans make their own luck. So how Cortana got revenge on this douchebag? bag was actually quite comical and, if I may say, iconic. So soon after all this happened, Cortana would wreak havoc in Ackerson's private files and profile, even replicating the footprint of his personal computer, basically making it seem that it was most certainly him that sent a note requesting reassignment to frontline service. She tried to put Ackerson right in the front lines where basically everyone dies, right? And also, Cortana sent a large amount of his personal money, Ackerson's personal bank account money to a brothel to Gilgamesh and even sent the bill back home to his wife. So get completely wrecked, boy. But somehow he explained it away, probably because he's a psychopath. But Cortana also knew he was a traitor and was kind of tempted, I guess, from the dialogue we see in the book to basically rat out on him. So Cortana knew that Ackerson was a traitor, you know, going through his personal files and from what he did trying to kill a Master Chief. And she was tempted to, you know, call him out, tell Oni, tell the UNSC, but she also knew that Oni still needed him for saving humanity, so she didn't. If you think Cortana was in the wrong here, let me know down in the comments below why or why not. And to put a cap on all this, Cortana, while she was doing all this hacking, she was almost caught by Dr. Halsey, but since she's an AI and a smart AI, she was able to get in, get out within just milliseconds and get all the data that she needed. But nonetheless, it was, uh, it was technically a close one. So even though Ackerson was able to exonerate and explain all this away and get away with the things and the hacking that Cortana did, during the Battle of Earth, he does actually get fucking karma. So Ackerson had left his post in the Security Council at the UNSC and assigned to Mars when on November 2552, him and his forces fought hard against Covey forces when eventually they were defeated and captured. Ackerson was taken by Lepidus, a brute shipmaster, and was interrogated. Ackerson would leave the Covenant on a wild goose chase looking for a special foreigner artifact named the Key of Ocelon, which was basically needed to be used to activate the Halo Rings and do the Great Journey or whatever. This stopped the Covenant from glassing Ohio and the city and basically would stop the Covenant's activities on Earth. Of course, the Covenant realized that this was all BS and Ackerson would mock the brute shipmaster saying that the Covenant's pompous arrogance would cause them to lose the war. Lepidus was so angry, perhaps understandably, for the Covenant and the brute, he beheaded Ackerson right there and then, claiming the Covenant's blind fever would lead to their victory. What I just read is like a nip from Halo Reach's second campaign. That's what I call it. If you want to learn more about the fall of reach then certainly get halo the fall of reach on audible you can get it for free link down in the description right now so guys what do you think of ackerson how else could have cortana got revenge on ackerson for almost killing chief was he a traitor or not let me know in the comments down below and of course like this video up and join me on this halo journey of halo news since 2011 all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video soon take it easy peace